is AC voltage controller controls current in a purely inductive load. If the firing angle of the SCR is alpha, what will be the conduction angle? Okay, AC voltage controller converts AC to AC. Okay, so what is the conduction angle? Conduction angle gamma is given as extinction angle minus firing angle alpha. Okay, since we have a pure inductive load, that means at pi it is going to have the extinction angle always okay firing angle is given as alpha so conduction angle gamma is pi minus alpha which is option b is the correct statement option a that is root locus method is basically a one perometer method that is used to study the effect of firing any chosen perometer that is correct we can use the root locus method to study the effect of that is total effect of firing two more perometers by doing the calculation sequentially Yes, that is also correct. Root locus and root contours also having the property is same as the root loci. Hence, all the statements given are correct regarding root locus. So, option D is correct. V is a function which is given as x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 1 by 2. And we have to find dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square. Now, V is given as x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 1 by 2. Let us differentiate it partially with respect to x that is 2v by dou x which will be half into x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 into differentiation of x square plus y square plus z square will be 2x because we are differentiating partially with respect to x. So dou v by dou x is nothing but minus x times of x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2. Now, as we need dou square v by dou x square, we'll differentiate it again. If we differentiate it again partially with respect to x, this will be dou square v by dou x square. Now, as we have two functions, we'll use uv rule. x into differentiation of this is minus 3 by 2 into x square plus y square plus z square raised to the power of minus 3 by 2 minus 1 into differentiation of x square plus y square plus z square is nothing but 2x plus x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2 will be as it is into differentiation of x is 1. If we simplify dou square v by dou x square will be x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 5 by 2 into 2x square minus y square minus z square. Let it be some equation 1. Now similarly if we differentiate the given function with respect to y partially twice then the expression will be x square plus y square z square whole power minus y by 2 instead of 2x square this will become 2y square minus x square minus z square equation 2. Similarly for dou square v by dou z square it is x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 5 by 2 into 2z square minus x square minus y square. I mean we'll obtain these equations because they are uh, the given function is homogeneous. Now if we add these equations 1, 2 and 3 it will be dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square plus dou square v by dou z square. Now you can see 2x square minus x square minus x square similar to y square y square and y square z square z square and 2z square and this will be common so the entire term, term will become 0 hence the required answer is dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is nothing but dou square v by dou z square which is option c the laplace transform of f root x where f root x is given a certain function we have to find the laplace transform of this now the given function is nothing but 2 by root pi times of 0 to root x integral e power minus t square dt. Now let us first expand e power t square. I mean exponential function. It will be 1 minus t square plus t power 4 by 2 factorial minus t power 6 by 3 factorial and so on into dt. Now let us differentiate them. If we differentiate 2 by root pi is anyway common and differentiation of uh, 1 is nothing but x. x is here root x so x power 1 by 2. Similarly the next term will be x power 3 by 2 by 3. Similarly the next x power 5 by 2 by 5 into 2 factorial minus x power 7 by 2 by 7 into 3 factorial and so on. <coughs> now if we apply Laplace transform to this, applying Laplace transform to this, to the above say sequence then it will be 2 by root pi times of rho 3 by 2 by 
s power 3 by 2. Similarly, rho 3 by 2 by 3 into s power 5 by 2 plus rho 7 by 2 by 5 times of 2 power 2 into s power 7 by 2. If we simplify further, it will be 1 by s power 3 by 2 times of 1 minus 1 by 2 times of 1 by s plus 1 by 2 into 3 by 4 times of 1 t by s square minus 1 by 2 3 by 4 then it will be 5 by 6 to 1 by s cube plus so on this can be written as 1 by s cube by 2 into 1 plus 1 by s whole power 1 by 2 which is nothing but 1 by s times of root s plus 1 so the required answer is option c and you could have fourth order method to find the approximate value of y when x is 0 0.2 for the differential dy by dx is equals to x plus y and also given that x is 0 and y at this point you have to find the fourth approximation now the first approximation k1 is nothing but h of x0 comma y0 which is nothing but h times of x0 plus y0 and we know the value of h as 0 0.2 and x0 plus y0 as 0 plus 1 ultimately you will get 0 0.2 now let us take h2 i mean that is k2 second approximation it is nothing but h of f times of h by 2 x0 plus x by 2 and similarly here k1 by 2 this value will be approximately 0 0.24 if you simplify then k is nothing but 1 by 6 times of k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 and this simplification will be 0 0.2428 and y is nothing but 1 plus of this k k is nothing but 0 0.2428 approximately the answer is 1.2428 which is nothing but option a integrating factor of the given differential equation so that it which will make exact i mean the given differential equation exact so it is in the form of m dx plus n dy where m is nothing but x y cube plus y and n is nothing but two times of x square y square plus x plus y power 4 now let us check do m by do it do m by do y and let us find do m by do y and do n by dou x now this dou m by dou y is nothing but 3 x y square plus 1 similarly dou n by dou x is nothing but 2 times of 2 x y plus 1 now let us check dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y which is nothing but 4 x y plus 2 minus 3 x y square minus 1 sorry this will be x y square so x y square so entirely it will be x y square plus 1. Now, just look into the given expression x y cube plus y. This can be written as x y square plus 1 times of y. So, if I divide this expression by m, that is 1 by m times of dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y. That is nothing but x y square plus 1 by y times of x y square plus 1, which is nothing but function of y alone. So, integrating factor is nothing but e power integral 1 by y dy, which is e power log y and uh, which is equals to y so the required answer is option d function of the system is given as z of s that is it is given as a ratio of two polynomials the ratio of numerator polynomial and degree of oh, that is the degree of numerator and denominator polynomials are differ by one hence the driving point impedance which is given in the question is nothing but an lc impedance lc function so again if we draw a pole zero plot this is pole zero that is s square is plus or minus this this again zero 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 so the pole pole and poles and zeros are going to be interlaced alternately on j omega axis that is it is an lc impedance function that is option b is correct for the following and most secure we have to find out the value of vds here the data is given as here vds is equals to vgs hence the given nmos transistor is in saturation so for the nmos transistor which is in saturation the current equation is given as k into vgs minus vt whole, whole square so vgs is equals to vds 
so we can replace VGS with VDS. It is 10 power minus 4.5 into 10 power minus 3 VDS minus 1 whole square. That is 5 this this. So root 5 VDS minus 1. VDS is equals to 1 plus root 5. which is equals to 3.24 volts that is option C is correct.